Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, it's all good. Okay, well, I let the dogs inside and stuff, and, um... You know what? I think we can... Nah, there's... I, I'm pretty sure we can just get over here really easily. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say bubble, uh, bubble jump up to there. <laughs> bubble jump. Uh, whatever. Turn off the fans, why not? Okay, is there any gems I've already missed? Like, seriously, there's already a checkpoint. <laughs> like a secret gem? I don't know. Alright. Again, I'm not going for 100%, so, whatever. Uh, okay, I guess we gotta get to there next. Why do they even give you the platforms? You got wings. But, uh, I've been watching so much freaking Game Grumps. Like, it's not even funny. Like, it's more like a binge than anything. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay. I can tell this is gonna be annoying. Alright, what to kill them with? Eh, just a grenade will work. Yeah, this is like uh, my favorite killing weapon since it's so like basic. Oh, I'm so what the heck? Whoa, look at that guy! Oh my god! Okay, get get him out of here. Oh man, I didn't even kill him. What the? Oh, I know what was happening. He was jumping on the uh, the uh, molten rock thing, and um, it was like bouncing him constantly into that guy's like feet. And, uh, he couldn't escape. Oh, that's weird. That was actually pretty interesting, though. Okay. Oh, crap, it happened again. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. Grenade is not doing it right now? Yeah, I died. Come on. Come on, I need something else. Um... Ah, uh, this actually would have been nice, because it would just went straight forward. Oh, come on, don't even... Don't come up here. Oh, wow, well, that was way too early. Or late. Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Anyways, switch back to the uh, bubble. Because I freaking love the bubble. Not even gonna bother with that crap. Okay. I also like using the uh, X attack to just kind of delay you're falling. It actually helps a lot in certain situations. Yeah, let's get that too. Ha! I love it. Alright, next checkpoint. Jeez, they, like, so freaking generous with all the uh, checkpoints in this. Like, so many. Um, okay. Is this where, uh... I don't know. I know I'm trying to find the, uh, spot where that thing is. Whatever it is. I'm just trying to find, uh, where I can, uh, Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, I thought I recognized it. Just where I could, uh, switch the uh, button. Oh, wait, that unlocks... Aw, oh, that's not cool. Er, that, uh, makes those things solid again. Jeez. But, yeah, Game Grumps, a lot of it. Ugh. Oh, my God. But, um, Shattered Memories is freaking awesome. Let's play that they're doing. Oh, I guess that means it's all of them. That's really rare for a stage to have six this deep into the game. I know uh, Furbottom's features has a lot of uh, sixes and stuff like that. Like, I was searching, like, forever for, like, one of uh, Furbottom's seventh gems, <clears throat> but I couldn't find it, and I didn't actually notice when I got the sixth one it did that shiny thing. But, yeah. <clears throat> that one of them had six, I know that. And I was just searching. Like, I was searching for 30 minutes. But anyways, this is uh, this is the next level, and I've already played three, so that's about it for this episode. See you guys later, and thanks for watching. Goodbye. <coughs> oh, my throat's starting to hurt. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm just continuing on for, uh, from where I left off last time. My throat's starting to hurt, so, geez, I might have to quit early. Because uh, if I can't talk, then I'm I'm not I'm definitely not gonna make an episode. But yeah, I'm I'm glad to actually be having fun with this finally. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a really fun game. It's just I was getting frustrated because I was so bad at it. Like that's the thing now. Uh, I'm not gonna do any more blind things unless unless it's a very specific circumstance. Like for instance, I was actually thinking uh, I was seriously thinking about doing a a mystery dungeon game. But not the one I've already played, Red and Blue, uh, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky. I already know the basic uh, gameplay concepts and stuff like that. I know how to play it. It's basically the same game, a couple of added things, but really I wanted to play it for the story. Yeah. 
There's actually no real way to be really good at that game. It's like RNG, like crazy. Oh, well, Suicide Bomber, you got your wish, thanks. Jeez, freaking jerk. Okay, anyways, checkpoint. Oh, another checkpoint, oh my god. Okay, so I'm guessing they want, like, something like a pig to get across there. But, uh, I'm fairly certain we can just uh, get across there with, like, bubble. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can make it. Oh wait, ah oh, no. Yeah, the thing is, if you accidentally use your second jump on the bubble, it won't allow another jump, and it kind of wastes the uh, bubble's jumps too. Yep, see that? Awesome. We can actually just end the level now. Why not? <laughs> oh man, friggin' love the bubble. It's so cool. In fact, uh, I should actually escape from this level and uh, show... Oh wait. No, what? what? Oh wow, <laughs> such a bad score. But yeah, it'll actually just boot me out to the map anyways. Yeah, I'm going to show you uh, how to six times jump with this thing before I continue on. It's really cool. Ah, oh, dang, I missed it. But yeah, you got to, like, put the uh, second bubble slightly behind it. Yep, there we go. And then you can jump one more time, but it's actually too low for the ceiling. Yeah, it takes a lot more time to uh, six times jump than to uh, Hadouken upwards. Uh, where's my Hadouken? Uh, there it is. But the Hadouken can only be used in very specific circumstances. The bubble can be used anywhere that you have like enough room to use it. Plus, this can only rocket you upwards. The six times jump can be used for uh, extreme, like uh, horizontal length too. Like as you saw in the last uh, level where I just kind of completed it. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll just go with bubble. The frog is pretty cool, too. And some of the stuff on the start menu that I've seen the, uh... You know, whoever's playing that co-op game at the start menu. Uh, I've seen them do some crazy stuff with co-op, uh... Um, paper airplanes. Like, oh my god, it looks so cool. Okay, um, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm guessing not let it fall into the water? Okay, I'm just gonna guess that. Oh, and then it just falls down there. Oh wait, does that mean I can walk this way? Where does this lead? Huh, nowhere. Or unless... Oh, secret level, okay. Alright, that's cool. Uh, I guess... I guess we can do this. Like, I don't really like the secret levels, they're kind of like... I don't know, they're, they're kind of boring because they don't have any puzzles in them and stuff. And that's what I really like about this game, puzzles, trying to figure out how to get to like the next area. Let's see if I can't find the yarn in here, I don't know where it is. I don't think I've ever been to this secret area. I don't recognize it if I have. Oh, there it is. Okay, we can easily make that with the bubble machine. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely make that with the bubble machine. We should probably stand around here, though. Oh, jeez. Alright. Alright. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll shoot a bubble from here. And then quickly get up onto this. Oh yeah, that was nice. Oh, that was pretty nice. <laughs> okay, exit. Yeah, I freaking love the bubble machine. It's like, seriously, uh, my favorite weapon. Because it can not only kill enemies, it can also, uh, like, allow you to... Of, again, uh, quadruple jump. Like, what I used to really like, I still do like it to an extent, but it's nowhere near as good as the uh, bubble jump. Uh, this ball, because you can use it to, uh, like, just jump off of, like that. And then you can keep doing it to get a little bit of extra height every single time, but that's incredibly hard, and it's super inconsistent, especially since it just likes to pop at random times. But the bubble allows you to jump, like, near infinitely. Or, not near infinitely, but, you know, to a height that you really shouldn't be able to jump to. But, yeah, uh, I just played that one, right? Or, did I play this one? I don't know. Oh my god, I already forgot. Um, crap. Let's see if I recognize this level. <laughs> crap. Oh my god. Early onset Alzheimer's, not really. Okay, yeah, this is the level I just played. Um, let's exit. Go back and, uh, go on to 4 8. I wonder, like, did it actually kick me out to here? Why would it do that? That's weird. Whatever. Moving on. Gems of three will set you free. 
Alright, so this is the last, uh, the last level for this episode. Oh my god, maybe not. Dang, I completed both of those levels really fast. Hmm. Oh, crap. Uh, it depends how long this level takes, I guess. Can you actually kill those things? I've never tried. I don't want to. I don't What? Oh, oh my god, that actually scared me for a second. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he can't come over here. I don't like those things very much. Oh! Oh, that was close. Alright, so I'm thinking... Oh, man, that was close. Alright. I like the fire blocks. I like them because they can both... Oh! Wow, that was really dumb, and I would have been really sad in insane mode. But, uh, they can both be incredibly dangerous and incredibly helpful, like the fire blocks. Um, oh, wait, just stand here for long enough and it'll kill him. Nice. Alright. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I like the little things they do, like... It's really hard to... Oh, what? Where did... Oh, he was up there. I just didn't see him. Okay, well... Dude, you... You can just, like... Oh, his vacuum sucks it up. Oh, whoa. That was unexpected. I was going to push him into those, but... Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing it... I don't know. I'm just trying to guess where, where you're supposed to get that from. Ah, yes. Wait, what? How are you supposed to... Wait, can you... Oh, oh, okay. And then you can just walk like that. Alright. Okay, that was cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The thing's gonna... Yeah. Uh oh Oh, man, that was close. Alright, moving on. I don't know why I bothered to get that gem, but... You know. It's just part of the puzzle thing. Like, I really like the puzzles in this game. Like, it's so different from both Alien Hominid and Castle Crashers this game. Like, it's just completely different. It's like a... It's like, it's not like a super hard puzzle game. Uh, ow. It's not a super hard puzzle game. It's more like a platformer in that sense, but it's still pretty fun. Like, ah, oh, god dang where, where am I going? Uh, here, let's just drown. <laughs> Get back up there. But it's still fun. Um, wait a second. Okay, I, I was just having flashbacks. I thought there was going to be a gem down there. I guess not. Alright, so... Are we just supposed to wait for this? Yeah, I guess so. I guess you weren't actually supposed to go in there. That was my mistake. Alright. Whoa. Did not want to go that way. Oh. Crap. Okay, I saw that gem and I... Yeah, it's got to be here. Alright, cool. Oh, this, that entire thing was just, okay. That's cool. <laughs> oh my god, I just spiked that grenade into him. That was pretty awesome. Alright, I want that. Crap. Even though I don't want this to be 100%, I still want to get gems because, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, try to speed through this game. It's still pretty fun. I want to, I kind of want it to last. Okay, I guess that was it. That's all of them. All seven. But yeah, I still want this game to last because it's actually pretty fun now that I'm somewhat good at it and I know how to use the weapons to like skip through stuff. Alright. So yeah, I'm not going to be aiming for like time or anything like that. Okay, I should probably uh, stop this episode here. Let's uh, escape to the map and I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching and uh, I hope you like this series by the way. Like, I hope you like that I'm continuing it. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later. Goodbye. Oh, oops. I, I took a picture. What the? No, get out of here.